On March 24, the CEO of TikTok, Shou Zi Chu, has testified before Congress over whether the app spies on the people who use it or not. He maintains he's never seen any evidence of spying. He also confirmed that Chinese engineers have access to some part of the U.S. data. Many American lawmakers consider a potential ban on the popular social media site. Mr. Chu was also asked why his kids were not on TikTok to which he replied that they lived in Singapore and anyone below 13 cannot have a TikTok account there. So why is TikTok's CEO being questioned? Why is TikTok now facing difficult situations in different countries? This is not the first time TikTok was questioned. In December 2022, Forbes found that Chinese state media had used TikTok accounts to attack certain politicians before the midterm elections. And remember, at the time, it did not contain labels disclosing that they were run by state media. In 2022, TikTok released a press release that tried to address the concerns, but it was a futile exercise. This has become a common scenario over the year. In June 2020, India took the lead in prohibiting TikTok, citing the app's negative impact on the country's sovereignty, integrity, defense, security, and public order. In 2020, Reuters revealed that TikTok would withdraw from Hong Kong due to ongoing regional concerns. In August 2020, the U.S. government under President Donald Trump came close to banning TikTok, claiming to have evidence that ByteDance's actions could jeopardize the nation's security. Fast forward to December 2022, The Guardian reported that the United States prohibited TikTok on all government-owned federal devices Additionally, in 2022, the BBC disclosed that Afghanistan, under Taliban control, banned TikTok for leading Afghan youths astray. Experts in many parts of the world showed concerns about data privacy and security with TikTok. The parent company ByteDance was accused of collecting user data without proper consent, and there were concerns about the company potentially sharing this data with the Chinese government. This raised alarms about user privacy and potential surveillance. One of the primary reasons for privacy concerns with TikTok is the way it collects user data. As with many social media platforms, TikTok gathers a significant amount of information from its users, including location data, browsing history, and even data from connected third-party apps. However, the app's data collection practices have been criticized for being more invasive than those of its competitors raising concerns about the extent to which user privacy is compromised. Additionally, while most platforms store user data on servers within the country of origin, TikTok has been known to store user data in servers located in China, outside the user's home country. This has led to fears that users' personal information could be more easily accessed by foreign entities. Another point of contention or concern is ByteDance's relationship with the Chinese government. TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, is based in China, a country known for its strict internet regulations and widespread surveillance practices. It is a known fact that CCP has invested heavily in all the big companies in China. China's National Intelligence Law, enacted in 2017, requires all Chinese companies to cooperate with state intelligence work if requested. While ByteDance has denied any direct ties to the Chinese government, Critics argue that the company's location and legal obligations under Chinese law make it susceptible to government pressure. This connection has fueled concerns that the Chinese government could potentially access TikTok user data or influence the app's content and policies. Global influence and propagation of Chinese interests is another major concern. CCP is well known to use propaganda as a strong tool to influence global perspective. TikTok's immense popularity has given it significant power to influence people at a global level. This has led to concerns that the platform could be used to promote Chinese interests and suppress dissenting voices. Some critics argue that TikTok's content algorithms and moderation policies may be designed to promote content that aligns with Chinese government narratives while suppressing content that criticizes China or its policies. These concerns have been exacerbated by reports of content related to politically sensitive topics, such as the Hong Kong protests or the treatment of Uyghur Muslims in Xinjiang province, being censored or downplayed on the platform. 
The privacy concerns and data security issues have not gone unnoticed. In response to these privacy and concerns with TikTok, several countries have taken action against TikTok, including banning the app or launching investigations into its data practices. India banned TikTok in June 2020, citing concerns over national security and data privacy. In the United States, the Trump administration attempted to ban the app in 2020, but the ban was never fully implemented. To address these concerns and maintain its global user base, TikTok has taken some steps to increase transparency and separate its international operations from its Chinese parent company. This includes establishing data centers in other countries, such as the United States and Ireland, to store user data locally and reduce the risk of foreign surveillance. But apart from the data and privacy issues, TikTok has been criticized for many other reasons. Let us understand each reason. Number 1. Using TikTok frequently decrease your attention span. Using an application that has adverse effects on the brain is not recommended for anyone. However, the issue is especially significant concerning TikTok because of its user demographic. Wallaroo Media's TikTok statistics indicate that over 60% of users are Generation Zs, aged between 11 and 26. This age group is still in the process of developing their brains, and research shows that excessive use of social media and technology can negatively impact their cognitive functions, including memory, attention, and decision-making. Therefore, the prolonged use of TikTok may be more harmful to younger users than to older ones, making it crucial to monitor and limit their usage of the app. Parents educators and mental health professionals must educate young people about the potential risks associated with technology overuse and encourage them to adopt healthy digital habits the short video formats from other social media groups too have a similar effect on the minds of the new generation number two censorship the state of tiktok's moderation is chaotic as censorship is widespread throughout the platform this issue is exemplified by the removal of tags, which has further marginalized already vulnerable communities. Especially, Uyghur Muslims who are fully banned from the system and their leaders in exile cannot use certain words that describe their plight. There's another example to explain the invisible censorship. Users who spoke out against racism in their videos have experienced a decline in the visibility of their other content. Additionally, there is no readily available list of prohibited words or phrases, and it is unclear whether the moderation team consists of humans or artificial intelligence. Number 3. Risk Challenges on TikTok While social media challenges have been around for a while and often serve a good purpose, some can be hazardous. TikTok has taken these risky challenges to a new level, with dangerous challenges such as the penny challenge leading to house fires and the skullbreaker challenge causing serious injuries. Another concern and trend is the Devious Licks Challenge, which encourages students to steal or vandalize school property. Unfortunately, many children continue to use TikTok despite the dangers and inappropriate content. Although some social media challenges can be amusing or serve a good cause, the increase in dangerous and harmful trends on TikTok is alarming. These dangerous challenges, such as the Penny Challenge and Skullbreaker Challenge, have already caused serious injuries and property damage. Moreover, the Devious Licks Challenge has resulted in numerous arrests, putting young people's futures at risk. As a result, parents and educators must monitor their children's social media, use and educate them about the potential risks associated with such challenges. Number 4. Issues with Data Collection we have already discussed various concerns about data and privacy issues with TikTok. Now look at how TikTok is collecting data to monitor your whole life. And the worst part is that this data can be used by CCP anytime they want. Whether we like it or not, most smartphone users have come to accept that apps on our devices track us to some extent. However, while social media platforms have long been known for their data collection practices, TikTok's methods are particularly unsettling. TikTok's privacy policy states that it collects information you provide in the context of composing, sending, or receiving messages. This means that even if you never hit send, the app can still monitor the content of your messages to friends. Moreover, TikTok requests permission to access a range of personal data, such as your phone's model, screen resolution, current operating system, 
phone number, email address, location, keystroke patterns, and contact lists, none of this information seems relevant for watching 15-second videos. These data collection practices are concerning, and users must be aware of the potential risks of sharing such personal data with the app. Number 5. Content that worries parents. Research has shown that social media can be detrimental to one's mental health. This harm takes many forms, with harassment, abuse, and cyberbullying being common occurrences. The problems with social media run deeper than these more apparent issues. For instance, some young users post sexually explicit content while others use the platform to harass their ex-partners by sharing intimate videos and photos from past relationships. Unfortunately, these actions can have real-world consequences, as demonstrated by the case of five women in Egypt who were sentenced to prison time for violating public morals in their TikTok videos. Moreover, social media platforms are rife with anti-Semitic, racist, and xenophobic content. Even terrorist groups like ISIS have used the platform to disseminate their extremist propaganda. All of these problems can take a toll on your mental health and well-being. It is crucial to be aware of the potential risks associated with social media and to avoid putting yourself in situations that can lead to harm. So, what is the crux of all this discussion? TikTok has garnered millions of users worldwide, but it has also been the subject of criticism and controversy for its problematic content, data collection practices, and harmful challenges. While it may provide some entertainment value, its impact on users' mental health and well-being cannot be ignored. The app's privacy policy and data collection techniques are particularly concerning, and its propensity to spread harmful and discriminatory content is alarming. Parents, educators, and mental health professionals must take steps to educate young people about the potential risks associated with the app and encourage them to adopt healthy digital habits. Ultimately, it is up to you to decide whether you want to continue using TikTok, but it is crucial to be aware of its potential risks and use the app responsibly. Thank you for watching. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do not forget to subscribe and share.